Uh, they were not told what they were going to be doing tonight at all. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And we've just met your children for the first time. Hello, Sammy, Oh, you're very Come 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 in, 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 and we are both members of the Phileas Fox Hill Company. You are all going to become those poor Victorian children living on the streets of England. Sit! 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 That is sit. disgusting. Sit! There's very good, right? Sit! You go! You go! Stand up! Crash your legs and sit up straight! <laughs> sit up straight! We will not see any... We won't see... But remember, this group would already be dead. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I would like you all to enjoy what we're going to do. Young people were very badly. You! Congratulations! Yeah. You're sitting like that because you look like good for our children and you are going to learn your alphabet. So, in Victorian class... No! It stinks! No. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Try again. One, two, three, go. Yes, it stinks. We like it, boys, don't we? Yes. yes. All right. Yeah. Try that again. Thank you, dear body. Like that, please. One. No, it's mine. Yes. 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 Hey, stand up, pure finders. All right. Just pure finders. Yeah. yeah. Seven years. And the way we go to work in Victoria is by marching. No. Yes, good marching. And I'm going to sit. Yes, one hand here. Fine. Dead body. Fine. Fine. Cool. Have you ever heard of the. So, you two, have you got your bucket and shovel? Watching the show. No, we were right. going to do. Well, what again? My other scary face. Right. <laughs> yes. Now, Jim. Again. We all have to use your you hands then, won't we? Very, very frightening. No! Oh, oh, great. Go! Yeah, yeah. 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 Into the bucket. Right. <laughs> Three, two, two, one. one. Ah. Ready, go. Bite it off. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Pull out your Ow. hands. Oh. Yeah, and you do what she says. Oh. Nice work. Roll it into balls. Roll it into balls. I have a chimney sweep. I'm number one chimney sweep. I'm the boss. Ready, you are number two. Jimmy Sweet, I will also be asleep and you'll hear me snore. Okay. Alright. So one, two, three, snore! Stand up. Faster! Wake up! I hate you, you little bastards! Wake up! We all said wake up! I knew she'd be vicious! I knew it! I'm very, very poor! Tom, bring me a tank. I'm very, very poor. Oh, my Alright? Please. Now. Food. Jimmy Sweet, did you see the fire? Certainly. See the fire? Not. The wood fire? That's what we need. Alright, Jimmy Sweet. Alright, that's on your tongue. Okay. Don't stop the fire. Look at that dirty, smelly beggar holding on to your husband's trouser legs. Good. Now, Betsy, did that hurt? <laughs> it's harder. <laughs> oh, very nice. Are you still alive? Rice. Yeah, be a bit of rice, but rice. See the roof. Rush. 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 Rice, come down. Rice, come down. No. I die. Right, Rice. I'm now going to kick you. Is that all right? Is your father here? Is he bigger than me? Victor, the animal. You're not working hard enough. I am, sir. I am.
team to get us to the line over there. Guys, and then we'll have Betsy, the machine. then we'll have the rich yeah. lady Go and, get your and the rich man. Raptors, are you ready to enter Victorian England? Yes! Okay, here we go! Here we see a typical day of country school. Let's watch a typical lesson. A is for angel and for apple. A is for angel and for apple. B stands for Bible and for ball. Oh, isn't she a darling? Come out here, child. You may have a sweetie. What does C stand for? C stands for fish. Fish? <laughs> oh, no, it does not, boy. Come out here. Ah! What a good teacher. When they went to school, they had to go out and earn money to help their families. Was working in the sewers. Get it out, please, come out! Oh, oh gosh, it stinks in here. <laughs> yes, it stinks. it stinks! Smells good to me. <laughs> Smells good to me as well. Into the sewers, we go into the sewers, we go into the sewers. <laughs> because you might be Jack the Rippers. No, Next no. guy, yeah. <laughs> He will rip open your gut! Boy, go and pick up the coin. No. Pick it up, you... Don't you ever hide behind a woman again. A bit of poop never hurt anybody. Give it here, boy. Come here, come here. I better check it's metal. What's that? It's a dead body. Oh, oh, oh. we like dead bodies. Yeah! <laughs> there might be money in the pocket, eh? The best thing is we can sell the dead body <laughs> to them doctors, to them medical men, to cut up. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> you ruined the body! Now we can't sell it! We share everything, don't we? Yes, we do. And you can share the hand. <laughs> can all my pure finders, let's be having you! It's round here somewhere, my pure finders. I can smell it. Oh, what's that? Mine? 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 Oh, wow. Uh, come on, Ed. Whoa! That's not fair. I'm the boss. And it's a lovely, juicy rat. Oh, It's mine oh. and I want it. No, you can't have it. It's my rat. It's not fair. No? Well, life's not fair, kid. Uh, you two. Have you got your bucket and shovel? No, we, we have forgotten. To... You'll just have to use your hands then, won't you? No. no. No, yes you will. Go and pick it up. Nothing to be scared of. It's the other end of a dog what bites. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a poop girl. You left a hair in it. Do you want that back? Oh, here we go. Just like I showed you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was nice. What sort of dog made that, do you think? Have a guess. A bulldog? What sort of dog made that? I don't know. A bulldog. A, a poo dog? Show me your hands. Spit. Um, roll it. Get your fingernails in nice and deep. <laughs> Put it on the floor and let it dry in the sun. We'll put it in your sack, stand up. Why? Why? To soften and colour the leather, of course. Did you ever wonder why leather is brown? Huh? Good day's work, my pure boy. Smells of it, but it makes us lots of money. So come on, bring that rat. I want him for my tea. Children of your age have to go out onto the streets in Victorian time and pick up his dog poo, just to survive. And escaping from the workhouse was not easy. However, one boy who managed it was Jim Jarvis. Jim <coughs> made his way to London town. He was captured by grimy Nick and forced to work in its filthy coal barge. No! Oh my <laughs> This is my vicious guard, Snipe. Snipe, sit! 
<laughs> Snipe, howl! Snipe, down! Snipe has got your smell now, and he will never forget it. Another way young people could earn money was by begging! Yet the problem is, there's just so many of them. Well, let's watch this true account of how a child could be made special. Come along, Betsy, come on. Give me some money, give me some food. I'm very, very poor. Certainly not. Give me some money, give me some food. I'm so made her living by blinding young children. It's three o'clock in the morning in London town. And Mr. Grimes, master chimney sweep, is about to go to work. Wake up, you little bastards! I need you! Wake up! Wake up! You do wake up! Right, get the rope up! Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh, you're useless, all of you. Right. We've got a long way to go. Right. Now, Ruby, the chimney sweeps are coming today, and they will send the little boy up the chimney to clean it. <laughs> the door's here. <laughs> ah, Ruby, oh. stop flirting with that chimney sweep. Yeah, that's a very small fire, sir. Oh. It's your turn. No, he has to go. No, it's fresh, sir. Enough of this nonsense. It is your turn, right, right, bring him up. Right, come here, you little toe rag. This is to protect <coughs> the nice ladies' carpets. More important than you, boy. Sir, he's through, I can see the brush. Oh, lovely, that means he's finished, he's stopped cleaning. Right, right. Thomas Price was dragged from the chimney right unconscious. Right. right! He's dead, sir. Now I shall have to get me a new boy. And now, everybody was moving to the towns to work in factories with machinery. You stop! Stop cleaning! Right, let me start my beautiful new machine. Bang! That is music to my ears! Because it makes me so much money! Why are the small children working underneath the dangerous machine? I think she's got a little bit of a headache. This girl's skull has been smashed by your machine! You two, get rid of the body, or you'll pull out your own job. But, girl, you come out from under that mine quickly and keep your head low. Stand up straight. No, I can't. It hurts too much. I will take you home to London with me. There's a better life waiting for you there. But the journey is often very long and very uncomfortable because the roads in Victorian England were terrible. It was a bit like driving in Belgium. My beautiful horses! No! Let's go! Oh, this is lovely. Beautiful horses. Oh, lovely. Oh, nothing more delightful than travelling by coach. Oh look, we got stuck in the mud. Oh, you in the back, jump off, jump off, and go first, go first, go first, go. That's it, we're going, we're going, we're going. Boys and girls have to work <laughs> down the mice. 
Children of that size and age sometimes would not see daylight for days. You can see a Victorian coal mine. Get back to work, lady animals. Coal's coming! Coal's coming! Coal's coming! The coal's coming! The coal's coming! Coal's coming out! Through the tunnels of the mine, through the little doors or traps which were worked by the small boys and girls. Coal's coming up! There were many dangers. What happens if they cut too much? What's the danger? Yeah, good collapse, good use of English. Wood, wood! The brave woodsman to drag huge logs of wood, great tree trunks down. There were many other dangers. And the thing the miners feared the most was a gas explosion. A Victorian gas detector! So it's just a bird. So Peter, a beautiful songbird. And the way it works is very simple. If the bird dies, <laughs> then there's gas in the mine. It's going to explode. And an explosion goes kaboom! Help me! <laughs> of a Victorian gas explosion! <laughs> I sat open and shut the door. Simply used as cheap workers. And if you need more workers, well, you just make more children, right? But I think you'll agree our actors this evening have done a fantastic job. That you were born today and you've got the parents you do now. <laughs> Give a round of applause to your TTO department who've managed to prepare the students here so well for such an evening.